My gosh, that is a ridiculously powerful trade route. 32 gold. What the heck? I don't even know. That's kind of crazy. Can we enter uh, ocean tiles? No, we can't. So we kind of need to figure in, uh, finish cartography real quick. Because <laughs> it looks like there's a single ocean tile in here and it might be a little annoying. So let's knock out uh, cartography real quick. And then we're going to go back for our tanks. Sounds good. We built the two harbors. You can come over here. I'm going to try taking you over here and get as much vision as possible. I'm seeing a new wonder being built. Ooh, nice. I guess make me 32 gold per turn so we can keep all our units upgrading. And the units that we don't have upgraded, it'll be fine because we'll want to just bank the money for now. Because we'll want to upgrade them here in the future. We've caught up to uh, the combat strength right now of Poundmaker, which is good. The red-headed woman forgot her name is wearing a reindeer headpiece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was interesting watching the first live stream with her because I was like, oh, she's the voice of all the videos. I was like, ah. Belief in good taste and belief in the human race. Is she trying to be like Jeff? Is that what's happening here? I kind of feel like we just pop out units or make money. You already have a harbor, so just pop out units then. The thing... Uh, so this is going to give us caravels, but still, caravels are so crappy at this point. We want, like, ironclads. I just don't want to research the tech that way. You know what? Give me campuses. It's going to take 36 turns. Whatever. It's only going to be a plus one. Whatever. Give me a campus. Let's just start queuing some of that up, just so we can have the science. Make as much as possible. Chef uh, Lisa, does Germany have any fruity beers? That's a Sims question, definitely. Wait, there's a redhead? <laughs> she colored her hair. Uh, You're going to go this way. How do you not know if you have don't if you have fruity beer or not in Germany, Sims? I thought you were like the beer master. Do the painting, and then we'll see where we can put you. And do the writing. Hey, the prince. And we don't care about any of this. We still want to keep the upgrade and probably as much money as possible. Now, loyalty, these guys should be fine, right? Yeah. We didn't actually double check on them, but... 7.3. Ooh, it's actually not as good as I was hoping. So, once again, everyone get over here. Come on over here. I wish... Biggest complaint about the game, so you have a unit here, and you have a bunch of units queued to go to that spot. I wish they would still move in that direction up until they get to, you know, the turn before. Like, don't make me have to reselect everyone and tell them to go to a different slot every time someone takes a spot that you're in. It gets annoying. Did not give us as much vision as we wanted. Hmm. Hello, barbarians. I think what we're going to try doing is actually landing here. See if there's a city right here. Pretty sure there's probably going to be a city right here. We might honestly just land here and then just start raising everything. Because <laughs> why not? Uh, do we have any art slots? We do not. No. Okay, you just go to sleep then. I'm not going to worry about you. And then you come down here, too. I think it'll be easier to do it this way by um, raising the cities and then moving up here. We're going to have to raise the cities. I don't think we're going to be able to ever hold on to any of these cities. And having them flip back and forth is just going to be annoying. So we'll probably just raise down everything but the capital and be done with it. And that'll just be the easiest thing to do. Should we, at this point, declare war? Nah, let's give it at least a couple turns. Let's land and see where everything's at. How's... This religion game going. Okay, we're fine. False alarm, she's purple more than red. I always liked purple-haired. 
So, what if there's a city here that we can't see? That'd be really annoying. There's gotta be a city over here, because there's a harbor right here. So there's clearly a city somewhere, like, right in this area. I wish he would have given us open borders, but too late for that. I think everyone's moving already. Let's wait one more turn, and probably next turn we'll do our war. Chef Lisa, I'm originally from Belgium. Hey! I love Belgian beer. Someday I want to travel to Belgium. Belgium seems really fun. Someday I want to travel to Europe, period. <laughs> I think Belgium, though, might be... No, other than England. I want to go to England because I want to see a Premier League game. But Belgium might be, like, number two on my list. So, let's go here. I was really hoping for more... More vision. Hmm... Hmm. Might as well upgrade you to Caravel. It's not like you're going to be able to do much damage. Um, should we then go ahead and make a... I think we'll go ahead and then make a fleet out of you. Because why not? And we'll go next round and do this war. Uh, I guess get an art museum. We don't have the gold to buy it. So instead, screw that. Let's just do a harbor. Plus four. Nice. Nice. Then you're moving down here. You're moving down here. Let's stay far enough away you don't get shot by the cities, please. That's my only request. Uh, let's harvest the stone. Okay, let's think about this for a second. So, A, number one, are we working the towel? Yes. So, if we built a mine here, we would be getting plus one production. I think it's actually two at this point. Uh, quarry. Uh, we'll get plus one when we get rocketry. So no, it's actually only going to probably be one production for uh, the rest of the game. So if we harvest it right now, we're going to get 189 production. So that means we would need 189 turns to get the full value out of working that tile. Are the odds... Unless we get rocketry before then, but it seems really a long time before we get rocketry. I think it's worth it to harvest it. And we'll just build a mine there. Uh, do the walls here, please. And we'll go from there. Probably want a builder, actually, next turn. Skip. Skip. Go. The Inca gameplay premiere has switched back to them looking at Hungary. Huh. I wonder if they changed Hungary. I felt Hungary was super overpowered. So I wonder if maybe they nerfed them a little. And didn't you say, Sims, you don't have to work till the new year? I thought you said you were, like, done-done till the new year. Okay, I guess let's do this. I hate it. I'm not ready to do this. I don't really want to do it, but whatever. Make deal. Come on, joint war. You need open borders, too. You don't have a lot of gold left. 50. Man, he was going to pay me a lot more when we were friends. <laughs> uh, we already have sugar, so don't care about that. This is going to keep our gold income up quite high. We do have a single nighter. I don't think there's any... Yeah, there's no way he was going to give us the nighter. All right, well, let's do it. Warmongering penalty, whatever. Why are you moving two to go right there? You go here. Well, that's going to be a problem. Hmm... Hmm. I was not expecting a super high level city right here. Until after Christmas. Nice. We got a knight here. So how do you have a 74 garrison defense strength where yours is only 65? I feel like you should be a little lower. Because you only have a knight in here. My god! Garrison knights plus 13. Huh? How's the musket man only giving 10 garrison strength but the knight? Oh, because it's an army. Or a core. 
Dang. So he did get cores. So we're in a bit of a sketchy situation then. This war is going to be hard to win. Meh. Which one are cores? Nationalism. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh yeah, I missed it. So we'll do nationalism, we'll get some of these guys as cores, it'll be fine. You're gonna take a lot of damage this turn, that'll be fine. We got some low level units. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should I be drinking coffee right now? Uh, it's only what, like 8 o'clock there right now? So they changed the coloring for the civs, right? For some reason, I feel like the banners over the towns have been reverted to Civ 5 style. So they said that, um, yeah, they changed all the colors. Well, they're doing two things. Number one, they're making it so uh, you could uh, see it if it was colorblind, like they're doing a colorblind mode, um, number one. Number two, everyone then had like multiple color palettes. So they're trying to give more traditional looking colors. So yeah, Rome would be more of a traditional purple. But if there was another purple Civ in the game, then Rome might be like its alternate color palette. By the way, I need to upgrade you. Go back. Yeah, these crossbows all need to get upgraded. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm kind of hoping right now. Two things. I'm hoping Spain takes the brunt of the aggression so we can come down here and do some damage. And I'm hoping to get nationalism out as quick as possible. So we might, uh, we might want to get something that's going to give us culture. Hmm. You have terrible production here, so just build a musket, man. You know what? If you have that terrible production, then just go ahead and work on the art museum. I don't want to spend the money on it. Night, 10 turns. Meh. You're here. I don't really want to put you here. Because I don't want you to take damage. I wonder if we want to go here. But the problem is with the cliffs. It's going to be a little harder. Stay there. Rome's purple is really nice and traditional. Now it looks like Bon Bon. <laughs> Why, why'd you do that? Oh, there's a cliff there. That's why. So then you do that. And then you do that. That'll be fine. And you're going to go ahead and make a fleet. So we now have a caravel fleet, because why not? And you guys are all coming south. Ugh, so slow. And we'll build the mine, or would we rather have tobacco? I think I'd rather build the mine. Oh yeah, and that's the other thing. So now we get a mine instead of a quarry, which actually gives us the extra production. So we're going to get the same amount of production at this point. Yeah. I don't think we need the upgrades anymore. So we want to go back to Oligarchy Legacy so we can um, take as little damage as possible. Now I'm a little scared to see how much damage his walls are going to do. Vixanyam, what's up? Golden Great Bridge looks cool. Sweet. We are going to pillage his religious units when possible. <laughs> just because I like to. It's just fun pillaging religious units. Alright, that did nothing. That did nothing. I laugh at your puny attempts to do damage to me. <laughs> so, let's put you here. I wonder how much damage it would do to the frigate. Because I'm thinking about, like, pillaging his stuff over here. Doesn't seem like he'll do that much damage. So I think let's come here and start pillaging. Yeah, why not? Why not? You skip, you come here, and you can't heal outside friendly territory. What? Huh? Can you not heal in the water outside friendly territory? I'm a little confused by that one. I'm gonna go ahead and spend our money here. Just so we can get these art pieces. Get culture. 
the more culture we have, then the quicker we can go ahead and grab um, nationalism. So, and build out more units. We we could build some spies. Might not be the worst thing in the world. We could get some builders too. We could also get some more units. Let's start with the spy. Smooth, what's up? What is with this flag right here? <laughs> That's a fun flag. Uh, go ahead and just build. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. If we can spend faith, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Give me the culture, man. I don't. I'm not using my faith for anything. And we'll do walls here because once again, we're just protecting in case they do anything. So we're actually flipping one of our cities too. Hmm. Are we golden age? We are. And France is dark age. Nice, nice. So I kind of want to swap you two just in case he brings like some major unit out to kill us. But I'm not too worried. Bombard's pretty decent in melee combat. Uh, you need to get upgraded. Whoopsie. And you also need to be upgraded. Too bad we just spent all our money. <laughs> uh, Siege Tower. Yes, please. Smooth, totally skip school for this. Oh, dude, don't skip school for this. Uh, my exam's starting the 3rd of January. Ooh. That's really early in the year. Is that like, is that how your semesters work out? But yes, good luck on your exams. I hate exams. <laughs> probably nothing I hate more in life than tests. Uh, you're here to upgrade, so skip, because we don't have cash. And everyone just get your butt over here. Oh my gosh, all these units moving are so annoying. Get over here. I don't care. The winter sale sounds great if I have money. Yeah. Yeah, I agree, Smooth. So we're officially starting tomorrow down to three series, and probably starting next week we're going to be down to two series, so I'm going to need another game to play here pretty quick. Why can't we repair? Can you not heal in the water? I'm assuming it's because we're in the water, right? Like, I'm not going crazy here. We don't have Twilight Legacy or whatever it is. Oh, we don't have 580. We're so close. So close. So we can buy that in a couple turns. We'll get the walls. Uh, and we'll move the field cannon. Come on. Somewhere down here. You need a couple more gold. You also need some more gold. You are going to keep giving me the artwork. So nationalism is close. Eight turns away. Keep making me cash right now. And we'll put you here and sleep you. I mean, I think I just sleep all these guys right now. You are here to pillage. He does have crossbows. But I'm not too worried about the crossbow. Finish the EU4 DLCs. Dude, I can't get Paradox any more money anymore. <laughs> I paid them too much money this year. Come down here. You all just sleep for now. Really, I think at this point we're just going to wait until we can start merging some units with uh, Nationalism. Because I don't really... I'm going to move you out just so we don't get shot, and we'll skip, and then we'll go pillage next turn. Probably go pillage the harbor, too. Did I pre-order Gathering Storm? I usually don't pre-order. I'll usually, like, pre-order it the day before. I'm also hoping that maybe I can get a key from Fraxis. Even if I could get a review key. Okay, so it's just because we're in water. Like, I would love if, like, hey, let me just pre-order it i'll pay money for it but just let me you know get it a couple weeks early or whenever everyone else gets it so i don't really kill care about pillaging the health i just want to pillage because screw him i think we're gonna go pillage the dock next turn might as well so how do we want to do this i think we just need to wait we'll upgrade you we need another musketman that has no levels, preferably. 
All our musket men have levels. What the hell? I'm too perked to even pre-order it. Yeah, that's the other thing. I don't really want to spend $40 this month. Hmm. We don't have that many musket men right now. Thought we had more. Oh. Yeah, he's level one, though. Thought I would have more musket men at this point in the point uh, game. What games are you thinking about game for the next series? No idea. Absolutely no idea. It's been a while since I played Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I need to play... I need to play the new Assassin's Creed. I think I have it on Xbox now. You skip. What are the knights when they are merged? Because we'll put you here. And we'll merge you two. That's going to be really strong. Um, I'm going to upgrade to get the bombard first. And I don't think you have enough. You need 230. So, okay. And we also want to go ahead and grab our field cannons. We have a lot of level 1 field cannons, which is kind of hilarious. Do something like this, and we'll probably just merge these field cannons right here. Field cannons are going to be really, really good. They're going to be how we win this war right now. And skip. Black Flag was great. I love Black Flag. I heard the Odyssey was really good, and the little bit I played of it was absolutely excellent. Because I have it on Google Stream or whatever it is, which is really fun. How can I blow the city up without my bomb arms getting wrecked? Ooh, he's actually bringing troops to me. Okay, let's go. Let's freaking go, dude. I can't shoot you. Seriously? How do we want to do this then? For stars, let's do that. Move back. I need... Probably to swap you out. And I think let's swap you two. Because then we'll be able to shoot. But I'm going to have to swap these two as well. Meh. Meh. It's fine. So the goal is to have both of these guys as the front line and to kill anyone that comes forward. Uh, we got six turns so we can upgrade them. That's fine. He doesn't have that many cores and armies right now, so I'm not too worried. Uh, you can just sit here. You guys are just going to go sleep and go to sleep until we get nationalism. You can come down here. Don't really know what else we're going to do with you. You have enough gold, so let's upgrade you. You're coming down here. I have Odyssey on PC. It's really good. I haven't finished it either. It's such a big campaign. My problem is, okay, so I'm trying to finish Spider-Man. That's the number one thing. Number two is I got to get through Red Dead Redemption. And both are just ridiculously long. <laughs> so, uh, it's really good, but it gets tedious up until Syndicate. I binge played every game in weekends. Yeah, Fraxis is, they always do, they freaking took my time on Thursday. Freaking Fraxis. Who I love very much, and I think is the greatest game company in the world. And I would love, love it, love it if they would want to support my channel. But you know. Don't take my live stream. <laughs> Brian, you should play Oriental Empires. Which one is that one? Oriental Empires. Is that the Total War? No. That's the one that's like Total War, right? The thing is, I want to play, like, a newish game. Someone mentioned, uh, there's an XCOM-like game that just came out. But it came out, like, three weeks ago, and I was like, dang it, had I known a little earlier, I would have totally done that. So I wanted to kill you, but I don't... We're just gonna do this. I don't want to actually take this spot, because I don't want to get shot by the city. You're gonna get shot, that's fine. I'm trying to pillage as much as possible just to do as much damage, just for the hell of it. Uh, that's gonna hurt, so let's not do that. Let's not do that. Alright, I think we're good just waiting still. I love how we declared this war and we're not even fighting. <laughs> uh, really, it was just to get Spain in. What's Spain at? Spain's at 394. You're at 1723. 
I think it's going to be at least 30 turns, so I would love to be friends, and I would love to actually be allies. Uh, you didn't want to be freaking friends? What the hell, dude? Because we could be military allies. So he's actually sieging down Valencia right now. Which is awesome. I think we might want to just put you in the water and then do something over here. Oh, God. You guys are talking a lot. Uh, Civ Total Warish, gotcha. 11 bucks on sale. Thing is, I just don't want to play a super old game right now because you just you don't get as many views in older games usually. They have giant death robots in Civ 6. Well, I figured they were going to add that. Oh, I mean, I figured they had to because they had the extra tech era and they had that in what, Civ 5? Giant death robots are pretty lame. <laughs> what? What? I hope you're being sarcastic, so I'm cool. Sarcastic. Beholder 2 and Lucius 3 can suit you, Brian. Are they newer games? You need to get up here. Lots of Russian jokes. Beholder 2. Beholder 2. Came out December 4th. Interesting. That one reminds me, it looks a little bit like... Um, I'm trying to think of what that game was. Uh, the side-scrolling game. I played on my channel briefly. Hmm, interesting. Lucius 3. L-U-C... Luc... Luc... I-U-S 3. This one got mixed reviews, though. That looks like a creepy little boy, though. You're gonna, like, burn down a church in that one? <laughs> that one seems... I don't know. I don't know about that one. They should add Jeff as a sieve. There's apparently a Santa... Because I, I had a game mechanic on for about five seconds earlier today when I was uploading my videos, and he's playing as, like, a... a, a, a Santa sieve. I was like, hmm... Interesting. Put you here, because we can merge you two, and we'll merge these guys. The holder is pretty good. Is there any games coming out in, like, the next five days? That's what I'm looking for. However beautiful the strategy. All right, we're going to take you over here, and we're probably going to go pillage the harbor. Although, we might get double shot. That might be a problem. Maybe just go pillage you for now. Let's stay here, so we don't get shot. Uh, nationalism, four turns away. You're going to get wrecked. Uh, I think we hold here. He's got a great general nearby. What damage is he going to do? So he is at 55 base strength right now. He is going to get plus 5 from the general, plus 4 from difficulty. So he's going to be at 61. Our field cannon's at 50. Should have 53 plus another 5, so 58. 58 to 63. We're not going to have any defensive bonuses. Maybe we should have swapped you. Yeah, I probably should have swapped you. So, I think I'm just going to do that then. Let's lower his HP enough so that if he attacks, he's going to feel it. Okay, we good. Star Citizen's an alpha phase. Dude, I so want to get into Star Citizen. Every free flight they have, I'm like, let's do it. I just don't want to spend a bunch of money right now, and I really don't believe the game's ever going to come out. But that's a whole nother issue. Um, Kind of want another campus? Yeah, let's do another campus. Nothing else is really going to be fast, so. Skip, skip. Bombard, can we bring around? Sansa Civ, unique unit, reindeer slave, mad boost and snow, of course, unique building toy factory. Is that the mod he was playing with? I actually thought about starting a Christmas Civ, playing as one. So this is our field cannon, another one. Just get your butt down here. I think we have enough units to fight him. <laughs> I think we might be okay, guys. Uh, if we ever freaking get nationalism, man. So the siege is no longer happening. Can we be your friends? No, you don't like us now.
Meh. Do you have anything we're trading for? Like, do uh, any luxury resources we don't have? No. What about Germany or France? We're gonna have to pay up the butt for it, but... It is plus attack. Nah, it looks like we're good. No, I thought it might be funny. Oh, gotcha. So, you need to definitely be one of the ones that gets upgraded. Or, uh, turns into a... Uh, core. Brian, <laughs> play Sim Airport. But Sim Air Airport came out, like, forever ago. Sim Airport... Yeah, 2017. I think I actually watched NerdCube play that game. Uh, okay, so we finished our spy. Give me... <sighs> I guess field cannons. Whatever. And we're going to send you over here and try stealing money. 520. 922. Hell yeah. Maybe that gives us a little more vision, too. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, don't really care about. Give me the art museum, I guess. Get a little extra culture, and then pop out knights. Pop out knights. We could do a campus down here too, but whatever. We'll do another night, and then we want trade routes to make as much money as possible. Keep our income as high. Um, only a three hundred ninety-nine. Thought we would be a little higher at this point. Germans, am I right? Well, Sims is, or Smooth isn't a Germans. multi 3. <laughs> you only get one attack from unique uh, upgraded in your territory. Gotcha, I'm cool. Okay. I thought it was general. Okay, never mind. 